How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video. It is the night before Anthem and for many of us who wasn't at the game changes, like myself, this will be a first hands on experience of Anthem. You excited? You're here right? So you must be excited. I'm Chaos Prime and today we're going to be talking about a number of things, ranging from the image showing the Grandmaster 3 difficulty, the VIP decal we will be getting, the demo economy, quality of life updates that will be in the actual demo, XP and more. So if you like what you're hearing and want to know more, hit that thumbs up, click on that red CTA to subscribe and share. Every thumbs up and sub helps the channel in mysterious ways, enabling it to grow that bit faster. Now all I need to do is acquire the Anthem. I hear it gives the power of life itself. With that said, if you want to stay in touch with me, you can follow me on Twitter and also join me on Discord. It's pretty bare bones at the moment, not many in there, but I'm sure with all of you jumping in, it's going to be very lively very, very quickly, right? Of course I'm right. Before I jump into the meat of the video, I've been asked if I'll be streaming tomorrow when the VIP demo is out. I will be streaming here on YouTube tomorrow, and on Saturday, I will look to be streaming a bit on Twitch. So feel free to join me in the chat on either of those days. Most importantly, play and have fun. It's your first go at Anthem, so enjoy the experience. Right, so let's start with the difficulty. So looking at the image on screen right now, we can see that Grandmaster 1, 2 and 3 are unlocked at Pilot level 30. This is pretty much common well known and is no surprise, it is the end game content after all and level 30 is the maximum we can get. What is interesting of note is the recommended minimum javelin rarity for Grandmaster 3. It is legendary which is the maximum rank you can get. Every piece in your arsenal has to be a legendary rank which is a recommended scale. Of course you can go in there with masterworks as legendary essentially is only a 1 up from masterworks. It's pretty scary, the enemy damage and health is increased by 3100%, however the drop chance of masterworks is increased by 250%. There is no indication as to how much legendary is increased, but masterworks getting a hefty 250% increase is pretty amazing. Something else I found out which was pretty damn awesome was the fact that because this is all done server side, they can adjust these values at any point to make the enemy damage and health increase lower so they could reduce it down to 2500 if they wanted to and this can be done relatively easily and relatively quickly. In fact they went on record to say this can be done within half an hour which is pretty damn amazing that changes like this that can affect the overall enjoyment and gameplay of the game can be dealt with so quickly. So I am hoping that with future sandbox changes we also get to see swift responses. Don't get me wrong, I'm not expecting miracles here and I'm not expecting them to make random tweaks every single time within half an hour. No, these need to be investigated. However, the fact that they have that capability shows me that they've really thought this out through and have given themselves every advantage they need in order to have this working correctly, succeed, and if changes need to be made, they can make it very, very quickly. If you sign into the VIP demo, you will be automatically enrolled and will receive the decal you're seeing on screen right now. There will be one for each javelin. The decal is unique to those that played the VIP demo, so if you do not sign in for the VIP demo between the 25th and 27th, this is going to be gone forever. This is unique to this instance only, so if you don't have a code, there is a bunch being given away by Mike Gamble and Ben Irving, and if I can get my hands on some codes by tomorrow, I'm going to be giving some away on Twitter, so do check over there. It will be a limited time, so hopefully, if you are still looking for some, you can get a code from there. But the decals themselves look really really good and I'm pretty impressed with the way they look. I do like it on the Colossus, I'm not really feeling it on the Storm and I'm not feeling it on the Interceptor. However on the Ranger and the Colossus it does look pretty snazzy. And next up we have some tweets. Bioware will be giving you 100 coin to start with and then enable you to get more by playing the content. The idea is to give you an insight into how it works and what sort of things are available. Of course the economy when the game launches will be completely different so don't expect this to stay the same but rest assured there will be no pay to win. Mike Gamble says remember you start the demo at level 10. After some of the story we give you 100 coin and loadouts for the ranger. All cosmetics are 25 coin. 
You earn more by doing contracts and challenges, but be careful not to spend it all quickly. Take your time and enjoy. Don't go and blow your load all at once as they say. Endurance is the key, spend wisely, and make sure your javelin is pretty hot. On the subject of XP, it seems the amount of XP you'll be earning will be based on the difficulty setting you're actually playing on. Orion asks, when it comes to difficulty and experiences, does the amount of experience you gain have anything to do with different difficulties? Ben Irving simply responds yes, indicating that the higher the difficulty, the more XP you gain. On the topic of damage indicators, which has been plaguing many of you I'm sure, it seems damage indicators can now be adjusted and you'll get to experience this first hand in the demo, as they did manage to sneak it in. So for those of you that didn't like this, you get a chance to play around and find your perfect setting. You never know, you may end up finding the perfect fit now that it's adjustable, no? Right? Right? It may not be the complete off option. You may actually find a solution that's actually better than it being off. Who knows? Now you get to try it out before you do anything else. Go crazy! Finally, the launch bay is in the demo for you to access with 15 other javelins. Yes, you read that right. With 15 other javelins. But how do you access it in the demo? It won't be there for you straight away. Mike Gamble says, when a mission ends, one button takes you to launch bay and the other to Tarsus. So after you finish the mission, that's where you'll get the interim choice in order to go to either the launch bay, which is the social hub, or to Fort Tarsus, which is your individual instance hub. I know where I'll be going, I'll be going to the launch bay. So after the mission, do make sure to check out the social hub. And on that note, we need to have 16 thick boys there. This is something we need to try and do before the demo ends. I'm counting on all of you to be there so we can have that massive group shot with 16 Colossuses right there for the album. And that's all I have. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. You like the decal? Not like it? Do you think it's special enough? Let me know below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, join my Discord if that's your thing, and we are now 150 subs away from hitting that 3k goal for this week. Let's smash it, especially with the VIP demo stream tomorrow. I'm hoping we can break that 3k barrier and smash it all the way to 4k. With that said, until the next video, which will be my honest impressions of the game, remain legend.